Hello, it's Mr. Sniper Relic Hunts, and today I will be showing off my uh, collection of antiques that I gathered in 2019. This is pretty much the end of the year roundup. I don't think I'm going to find too much more this year, but if I do, I'll post uh, another video sometimes in December. I know I've gotten really inactive with the YouTube uploading, but I'll try. I'll try to make it better. But this is uh, one of the first things I got this year. Got this in January. It's an old Zenith console radio. So it doesn't work. But I bought another chassis for it. Bought these knobs for it because uh, when I bought it, it didn't have the knobs. But it will work. It's a nice tube radio. It's from 1948. And there's this one. It's also a Zenith, and this one actually works. I already restored this one with a friend. Just give it a minute to warm up, because it's a tube radio. The sound on it is really crisp. And the funny part is, uh, I attach it to a huge uh, antenna from an old TV, a bunny ear antenna, or rabbit ear. Then as we move over here, I actually cleaned this yesterday. I had them uh, sitting in a, a cat litter bucket, bucket uh, filled with water from summertime, because I let them soak in bleach. But I was too lazy to get back and to clean them, and it's supposed to be like 30 degrees tomorrow, so I had to get them done so they wouldn't explode. Nice medicine bottles. There's, there's pharmacies. Medicines. And a uh, couple blop tops. And uh, there's this other pharmacy here, which is, which is broken, but I'm being very careful with, because I don't want it to completely fall apart, but it is broken. And I have the uh, your typical Bromo seltzer. There's some stoneware things. Over here I have a Russian gun oil container. It's my German helmet. United States telephone from the Vietnam War. There's a tag on it. Let me turn it around for you guys. Oh, it's backwards. But yeah, it's nice. As we move up here, I have a old Canon camera. Dug that out of a bottle dump, but I painted the letters to look nice. I don't know what you call these, but this is like... like grind stuff up they have a nice iron clock i found in an abandoned house and here i have my nice bottles these nice bottles actually belong on that upper shelf but i need to get the uh, half inch plexiglass so that the glass doesn't break underneath and over here is where i have this is actually my first and only blob top i've ever found haven't found a hutch yet but have a few along here this is where the really good bottles are. This is one of my favorite bottles here. It's a LaSalle company. LaSalle, Illinois. Illinois. I got this at an antique store for two bucks. Some other blobs, another hutch, another blob back there. And I also have a 7-Up from, I think, 1979. That is still full. I really want to try it. This bottle's in absolute mint condition. I really want to know what a uh, Seven Up tastes like from the seventies. It tastes different from the modern stuff or no? Just want to set down carefully. Moving up here, I have a old fan I found in an abandoned house milk bottle, and another radio, and a Snap-on ratchet. But for this. Uh, it's a half inch ratchet, but I was took it. I 
took it apart because I bought it off of eBay and it was all rusty. So to take it apart and when I took it apart, there's a part, with a spring and a, and a ball that goes there, but I couldn't get the ball in place, but I got the spring brought back in place and it doesn't sound very good. Hang on, let me figure a way to do this. See, you don't hear that clicking noise. It's not right. All right. Don't know what size bearing ball goes in there, so. And up there I have the Bromo Seltzers and other blue bottles. Right here I have a 50 caliber bullet. This is one of my favorite things I have. This is a World War II air raid siren. Here's a tag on that one if any of you want to read it. It works, but I'm not going to plug it in because it is really loud. And over here, I have my RCA Victor television, which is also from, well, no, that's from 1948. This is from 1949, I believe. Yeah, 49. It's an RCA Victor. Doesn't work. And I don't plan on making it work because it takes me like $400 to make it work. Oh, I forgot to show you this. This is my antique safe. This is one of my favorite things I've gotten, and I actually think that someone uh, broke into it before because there would originally be one of those dial things here, but this one replaced it with a keyhole. You know, I'm not going to open it because I have the key in a different room and I don't feel like getting it. So as we move along over here, just have another... Shelf full of bottles. Over here I have another radio. <laughs> another one. Wait, no, that one's not from 1948. That's from 44. That's 1944? No. 39, sorry, 39, not 49. Because um, it's actually a September? No, August 29th. 1939, because I remember it uh, being three days before World War II started. It has a stamp on the inside up here of uh, when it was manufactured, and it says August 28th, 1939. So that would mean that that's 39, which means year 1948, and that is 1949, and that one's 60s. Sorry about that, I got the years mixed up, I remember them. So back to the bottles. Over here I have my amber bottles, not all of them, but sort of put them in one spot. Some more bottles there. Milk bottles, they belong over here, but just can't put the weight down because that glass is thin. Back there I have some of my crock pots and other objects. Over here is where I have my nice bottles. Two um, Drake's bitters back there, blob tops, and just other nice bottles. That's one of my favorites, also. Over here are my milk bottles, some other miscellaneous small ones, mostly milks, but they were there. Down here, <laughs> I just Filled it with all the bottles I could. Sodas, medicines, big medicines, and mostly sodas. And I believe the, yeah, over there, that was the first bottle I've ever found. Found in a swamp. It's a party pack bottle. Can't bring it out because of all the stuff in the way. And as we move along to here, I have some insulators that I found along railroad tracks, some bottles, and uh, radio things, uh, some tubes, my cleaning cup with the syringes for chemicals, and uh, there's an actually uh, antique store by my house that has a lot of railroad things, like I picked up that, 
the, the spike plate, the track. This is some of that huge track. Pretty sure it's the biggest gauge they have. Yeah, but that's not the best thing I got. Best thing I got from them is this over here. It is a railroad relay. It's from the General Railway Signal Company, which is in Rochester, New York, patented in the United States. There's a patent number, it says uh, it was patented in 1932. I have it on a padlock that I found in an abandoned house. But I gotta buy myself a railroad padlock to make this look real good. But uh, here I gotta open it. Found an abandoned house with the key. Works as good as new. Just unlift it like that. And then we can lift it up. That is what the relay looks like on the inside. You can flip it back and forth, but I have the whatever the thing called that thing over there is called have it pushed to the side but that would flip like back and forth yeah let me try to push that back all the way to the wall let's not do damage to the wall there we go but there it is see that thing right there it switches back and forth Like I said, it would be spinning the other direction. I can uh, try to flip it the other direction. Hang on a second. But I gotta lift it up like that. There we go. Now it is on the correct side. So what it would be, it would be like this when it's off. And to engage it, you need to flip it. And it interlock like that. And disengage it. And engage it. This is one of my favorite things I own. If not the favorite thing I own. I really love this railroad relay. It's really cool. And as we move along here, I have my Vietnam stuff. The clip belt thing and my tracer rounds. I also have a belt. And there's my cat. US grenade bag, a grenade, gas mask bag, and the gas mask. That is pretty much all my collection here. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is your favorite part of my collection. For me, it would def definitely be this relay. Gotta go back to the antique store. Haven't been there in like a good month. Just wonder if they got anything else from the railroad. So they usually have good, good stuff. Alright, bye. Like, comment, and subscribe.